Dirty Girl here with another vintage haul from the flea market. Um, this is all the stuff that I will be selling on eBay and Etsy. By the time you see this video, I'm sure most of it will be listed. And um, so let's just get started. I'm going to start with the jewelry, uh, most of which I really overpaid for. I, I, I'm looking through this going, what the hell was I thinking? Uh, but anyway, sometimes I just, I get on a roll and I'm like, I'll have that and that and that and that. And and I don't argue enough about the prices. But anyway, uh, we'll start with this. This is a little jade charm bracelet. Probably dates from the 1960s. I remember these. I had one of these. Um, it's not worth a whole lot. I paid $2 for it, and it's, um, it, it is missing one of the charms and one of the stones, but I have them, so I can replace them. And I got this seed bead bracelet for $2. I don't think it's old, or at least not very old, but I just thought it was awfully pretty. And this was one of my favorite pieces that I bought. This is a Mexican sterling silver, um, turquoise, and coral. It's a necklace, and it's also a brooch. And I love how it has these little turquoise dangles on the chain. And I paid $15 for that. It's not, it looks really old, but it's not. It's got a mark that indicates after 1978. Um, and it does have one little tiny turquoise missing there. I'm going to try to replace it. Um, I'm going to try to find some little tiny nuggets online somewhere that don't cost too much. Okay, uh, let's see. And then I got this. This is a souvenir bracelet from Egypt. I don't really know how old this is. I think that it's silver plated over copper. Uh, it looks really old, but I also saw some newer ones that look very, very similar. So uh, either they've been making this style for a long time or this is not as old as it looks. But I thought it was really pretty and um, five bucks. And then I got these two sterling silver brooches of, I think they're Chinese, a little Chinese boy and girl maybe. Uh, I think that these are pretty old. I would say uh, 1930s, maybe 1920s. They do have uh, the rollover clasps, so they're not super old, like not Victorian or anything. But I just thought they were very, very charming. They're completely unmarked. And I paid 15 a piece for them, but I think I can do okay. I think they're just uh, interesting and charming enough that I can probably charge quite a bit for them. Uh, I got this ring. It, it looks like it ought to be a man's ring, but it's a pretty small size. So it's just a large woman's ring. And uh, I believe the black is enamel and not onyx. And it's not marked, but I do think it's silver. And I paid two dollars for that. So if it does turn out to be silver, that's great. If not, I didn't spend too much. And this, oh my, it's one of the prettiest Native American turquoise rings I've ever had. I, I just, I, I just fell in love with this. <laughs> you know what's coming. I paid too much for it, but maybe not. I paid $20 for it, and you know I'm going to try to get like 75 for it because I think it's just stunning. And uh, it's not marked, but look, even the band is stamped on the back. Or I don't think it's marked, is it? No, I don't see any markings on this at all. But I think it's probably a pretty old piece. I uh, got this um, lapis lazuli and sterling silver ring for ten dollars. It's really tarnished, but that will clean up nice. Very modernist look to it. Um, don't. What a lot of unmarked jewelry this time. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any marks at all. Uh, I got this. Uh, what is this red? I don't know what this redstone is. I was going to say carnelian. It might be carnelian, but carnelian and marcasite, sterling silver. Looks rather art deco. I don't know if it really is or not. Um, it says 95. 
but $15 for that one. And I got these are um, pretty sure they're Native American sterling silver and turquoise. These are old because they're screw back. They say sterling on them. And I paid $15 for those. And I'm thinking, you know, uh, maybe $45 I can sell those for. This probably $35 maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this one yet. <laughs> and I believe this is my last piece of jewelry. Some earrings. Very modernist with these little hinged squares. They're onyx and turquoise, a really pretty dark vivid blue turquoise. Again, not marked. Um, a lot of this jewelry I bought from one of my favorite dealers who tests everything. He only sells sterling silver, and so I don't worry that I'm getting something that's not good. Oh, one more piece of jewelry. This is so cute. This is a little, um, come on, my friend, come be in the video. Uh, a piece of antique lace under glass in a silver frame. Uh, don't think the frame is a real silver. I think it might be silver plated. And uh, this, I believe I paid $5 for that. But I just thought, how charming is that? Oh, by the way, excuse how I'm dressed. It's Saturday and I've been messing around. So, um, okay. That's that for that. Um, let me get some of the stuff that's behind me so I don't forget it. I bought five of these uh, silk uh, paintings on silk from China. Um, paid five dollars a piece for these. Prices on these things are all over the place and I'm not sure what determines the wealth. Um, but I'm thinking around 25 a piece I should be able to get for them. somewhere. Oh well, I don't know where it is. One, two. Well, that's odd. Uh, I don't know where the fifth one is. Oops. Okay. Okay, sorry. Uh, and I got this crazy looking very Hollywood Regency uh, gold mirror. It's um, Ceramic, uh, is it ceramic? I guess it is. Yeah, ceramic. Um, little cherubs on it. I don't know. I paid, I can't remember. I think I paid $5 for that. Or did I pay $15 for it? God, I hope I didn't pay $15 for it. Five. Okay, good. Uh, I got this, um, who is this? Uh, this is um, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth. It's a uh, little creamer or pitcher commemorating their um, official trip to Canada. And I paid $5 for that. It says 10 but I was at a half price. Everything in the booth was half price, so. Uh, and they just don't sell for a whole lot. I could probably get 15 to 20 for it. And I got these little bunny rabbits. They are hand carved, very folk art looking. However, I've seen a lot of them, so I, I know that they're mass produced. Um, I mean, they are handmade, but they're mass massively handmade. <laughs> and I paid five a piece for them, so you know they're not going to be they're not going to sell for that much. But they're awfully cute with the little face. I got this macrame belt dollar. I couldn't resist this. Cause I had one so similar to this that my sister made for me way back in the day. I got this. Here, Muffin. Can I come here? No? Okay. 
Uh, this is a Russian egg, hand painted. I paid four dollars for this. These don't sell for a whole lot either. I'm thinking, you know, maybe twenty if I'm lucky. I got some handkerchiefs for me. This is a really pretty embroidered one. And this is a nice little printed cotton one with flowers on it. And then a couple of little plaid. Let's see, there's plaid ones like this. This one's there it is, pink. Anyway, I like cotton handkerchiefs. And I paid a dollar a piece for those. Uh, I got this really cool vase. It's copper, it's stamped, it's got birds on it. I do not know yet where this came from. Possibly Turkey, but I really don't know. It's got that stamp on the bottom. And um, I think I paid 15 for this, but I think it might be something really cool. And I might be able to um, I might be able to do okay on that. I'm not sure. I've got some kitty cats. I'll give you a second to look at this. It's not, it's not the most skillful uh, pyrography painting in the world, but um, it is cats in a basket. People love cats. And here's what I really, really love about it. It is signed and dated December 14th. 1907. So, and I paid $5 for that. Uh, I got this beautiful Art Deco machine turned compact. It's silver plated over brass. It is a little bit worn. Um, here's what it looks like inside. And it is marked uh, Richard Hudnut. New York, Paris. I have not looked that up yet, but I suspect it might uh, be a pretty good thing. And I paid, okay, I paid, I paid eight dollars for this. And uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is a little mu a brass mirror, and uh, it's kind of beat up, but I thought it was just really cute, and I paid five dollars for that. Uh, it's got an awful lot of vertigree oxidation on it, so I'll probably clean it up a little bit. You don't want to destroy the whole pat, pat, patina on it, but, um, but it's really kind of green. But anyway, I just thought I needed a home. Uh, got some antique glasses. And these are in pretty good condition, and they are, I might be, you can see there's, like a lot of work done on the gold, and it's they're gold filled, and the case is in really nice condition. It has an Art Deco label in it, so I'm guessing these are 1930s, 1940s. Albert W. Edgenhofer, M.D., Ophthalmology, Santa Fe, New Mexico. And there's um, some spare lenses in there. I like that. But anyway, um, what did I pay for those? I paid $9 for that. Um, antique glasses do really well, though. Uh, this was a dumb bonehead purchase of the month. Uh, it's a little tobacco tin, but it's so worn, it's not worth anything. I paid a buck for it. I don't know, I just love old grungy looking stuff like this. This also, not worth anything. It's a little bird book. I have bought these before and they did okay, but I think my standards were lower then. Uh, they only sell for about $6 and this one's not in good condition. So um, this may be something that I uh, uh, throw in a you know, a craft collage making lot or something like that, or maybe I'll just use it myself, who knows. Got this frame. This is a Victorian uh, deep set picture frame. <laughs> quite, there's a, a Native American, looks like an Alaskan Native American type picture in there. I don't know what that's about. Uh, I really bought this for the frame. There's the back of it. You can tell how old it is by how dark this wood is. Um, this was probably put in later. But anyway, really nice frame. Has the glass. Paid five dollars for that. This is uh, a Kurok 
I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, little uh, Hickory Dickory Dock Christmas plate. It's in pretty eh, reasonably good condition. I paid five for it. It was supposed to be half price, but when I added everything up at the end, after I got home, the guy overcharged me. I don't think he did it on purpose. He's a really nice guy. Um, but anyway, cute little plate. And those sell for yeah, maybe $20 on a good day. Uh, I bought this flask for six, $6, I think. Uh, it's got kind of a Celtic design on it, and it says uh, pewter, made in the UK, and uh, it's nice. Uh, this, this, these kind of guy gifts, people are always looking for something good to get for a guy, and uh, so they flasks seem to do pretty well. Uh, I don't know what they sell for. I got another copper dustpan. I paid five dollars for this one. The last one sold very quickly. It was more of an art nouveau. This one I think is a little bit later and a little smaller, um, but uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'll sell that for, but it should do okay. And let's see, you may have noticed this gigantic bedspread behind me. This thing is huge, beautiful hand crocheted um, bedspread. I don't, I'm not sure what size it is. I think it might be a queen or a king. It's really big. And uh, I paid 15 for that. And that, I probably can sell that for about, I'm going to try from, I don't know, ballpark figure, $75 maybe? Maybe. Okay. Um, and I did want to bring up one other interesting thing. I just found out that there's people on eBay that will steal your photos, list your item as if, as if it's their item, and if it sells for more than what you have yours listed for, then they'll go back and buy your item and put in the address of the person that bought their item and have you send it to them. Which is highly illegal, but I can't decide. I can't decide what to do about it because in the end I'm selling my item, I'm getting my price for it, and uh, it wasn't selling before. It was a, it's a very, very expensive item just kind of confused by the whole thing and how somebody just has the gall to steal your listing and put it on eBay as if it's their own. And this guy has, oh, a couple of hundred feedback, 100% positive. So weird. And this lady let me know that he was doing it to her too and she wasn't, she wasn't sure what to make of it. And I don't either. But anyway, very odd practice. Um, and, and what he does is if like if I were to suddenly take my listing down or um, something like that, he'll just say, oh, it was a consignment piece and the consigner refused to ship it, so here's your money back. That's what he'll do. So he, he, can't, he basically can't get into trouble unless I report him to eBay. I don't know if I want to go through that. Anyway, okay, that's uh, all I have to say. I don't know if Muffin made an appearance or not. She was strolling around here a minute ago. Yeah, okay. Because I know, y'all get mad at me if my co-star doesn't, doesn't appear. There she is. So cute. She's so cute. Yes, we're, we're letting her wander around downstairs a little bit now. See how she does. So she can scare away the mice. Alright, I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye.